as a record collector, I think many of us have little bit problems of uh, overbuying stuff. That's why I try to keep January as recordless January. Try not to be buying any records. Did I success this year? Well, actually I did. I think I went quite well. But yes, I did pay, uh, buy a few records, CDs, and even one day. Plan was not to uh, visit any record store and avoid flea markets. But then I was in the concert of Rock, uh, Rock Siltanen Group, they are in their Rocky Monkey Tour. Uh, performing live this album uh, that they released in last autumn. Of course, I need to support the pan. Excellent, poor rock and roll celebration here. And this album has a couple songs where they have very strong Black Sabbath riffs there, like in the song uh, Menninkäiset Tulevas, Paris are coming. And actually, they performed the Conan Barbari song in the live, very rockish way here it's played like in the old medieval way. Excellent album. Then I visit some flea markets and circulation centers and I found this one. Carola Mario Maria. This is from 1980. This is near mint condition. Very good condition and Carola is famous from the 16s, early 70s, uh, she made like uh, smooth jazz kind of stuff and uh, rumba, samba, whatever of those South American styles. And this album have that kind of material here also, like Carnevali, Samba and another, another songs here. Very good album, maybe not her best album, <clears throat> but those earlier albums are very difficult to get and the prices are uh, glimping, glimping, maybe too high for me. I'm just <laughs> casual slugger album collector that buy cheap albums. But this was couldn't avoid it, even it was eight euros because it was so good condition and quite nice album. And then found later, week later, this one. This is from 1967. It have Danny, Christina, Johnny, Carola, and Eddie. Danny and Johnny are the most popular teen, art, uh, teen idols in the 60s in Finland. And Danny is still very big artist here in Finland. Even he's more than eight years now. And he has like one of her, his biggest early hit, Kesä Tatu here. And this is a little bit strange. This is... Uh, Collection of the songs that are most based based of Danny, Danny's and Johnny's work. Like Christina Hautala have here only one song. Uh, she was uh, later known as one of the most top actresses in Finland. And then he, she turned to be uh, in the leftist, leftist song, song movement. Ac excellent act actor, actress. And also Carola have here only one song, Mohair Sam, that, that isn't a good one. This Eddie guy, that I wasn't, uh, I didn't know he before, and don't need to know more about him either. This album have also second part with the red cover. If I'm lucky, I will find that one also. So flea market finds, but I did order one, only one thing from the internet, from the uh, Nihilist Holocaust label. It was this tape, split tape by Finnish Infected Priest, Human Target, Infected Priest, there's Jiki, the Rattus bass player band, and these both bands are playing like Green Core, early death metal. Infected pra Priest is more in this early carcass wave of type of grinding there, but human target have maybe also little bit influences from like morbid dancers of style. 
I'm not very familiar of this style because I only listen to old school stuff and this sounds old school for me enough. Maybe I like this human target side a little bit more. I'm not sure is this, uh, this is, is both sides have like five songs and this is this the full EPs of these bands or are there uh, some other releases where they are taking this stuff? I don't know. But excellent, excellent old school death metal green core. These records I al already show in my uh, Finnish language video, but still here. Did now I have listened at this. John Johnson, Big Band from 2002, One MC, One Delay, excellent hip hop song. Bomb Funk MCs Back to Back from Burning Sneakers album. Okay, songs, but uh, Bomb Funk MCs have already released their best music before this one. Pale Face, uh, Maan Tapa. Pale Face is uh, maybe one of the best. Uh, uh, guys now doing the lyrics in, fi in Finnish and this hip-hop rap here. I think this is maybe his best album since Shangri-La or maybe this was released before it, I don't know. I'm not <laughs> so sure, but excellent album. Frederick, sä tulit koputtamatta very 90s, 90s here. Boring Schlager and some little synth pop type of things happening here. Poorly made, but Frederick is Frederick and this one have songs from uh, 66, 67, like the Danis Kesakatu in the previous album I show. But there's also Arya Korisevas Kuningas Cobra from 1990. So Finn Hits was the biggest selling album, uh, compilation album series in the 70s, so this is like taking the best songs from those albums, but strangely, the 60s songs, few 60s songs also, and 1990s Kuningas Cobra, that I believe that wasn't in the 90s Finn Hits. There was few albums in 90s, 90s Finn Hits album. I think it wasn't there. So, I did survive January, did spend like 50 euros of stuff, 50 euros still these records. I'm quite happy didn't spend more. How did your January went? Too much, too much spent money to records or what? Next recordless month is probably summertime I try to keep not buying anything then.